usfcougars.com with University of Sioux Falls head men's basketball coach Chris Johnson. Chris, uh, just come off practice this afternoon. How's the team looking heading into a pretty important weekend with Northern State on Friday and the league leader um, Minnesota State Moorhead on Saturday? Well, the, you know, obviously we've, we've played pretty well since Christmas and, and uh, being 7-1, and one, but uh, been in a lot of close games and uh, those guys are hungry. Uh, they're excited for the opportunity to play two of the best teams in our league this weekend. Um, you know, different teams, but, but very good teams. And uh, both played very well uh, again last weekend. So we understand the, the challenge that's in front of us, but we're, we're choosing to look at it as an opportunity to play against two really good teams on our home floor. Well, you know, you've, it's been a turnaround, 9 out of 11 games after some early frustration. What has been the, the real key to that turnaround? Obviously, you lead the league in defense. That has to be start point, right, number one. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, our guys have, have played pretty well here. We lost some close games early, you know, and, and we found a way to win more of those. You know, obviously, we lost another close one this weekend. But I, I choose to look at it as, you know, we're in every game. You know, we've really had one game where I felt like we just really never had a chance to win, and that was the St. Cloud game, uh, you know, back in November. So, uh, you know, I, I've been really happy with the way our defense has come along, no, no doubt. That's given us a chance to be in every game because our offense has been a little bit inconsistent at times with the way we've shot the ball. Not necessarily the way we've played, but with the way we've shot the ball. Uh, but we know we're capable. And, and, you know, on Saturday, you know, we made our first 12 shots. Everything looks great again, but uh, that's not going to happen every night. Talk about offense. you got two of the best teams in the league offensively. Uh, both shoot the ball really well from the field while you are able to hold teams down pretty good. So you're going to have uh, that kind of challenge to slowing down two pretty explosive attacks, right? Yeah, you know, I, I'm not sure we're holding either one of these teams in the 60s like we've been doing. You know, we realize that. We just got to make them earn every basket they get, not give them any easy ones in transition or offensive rebounding or, or any of those or any breakdowns. You know, we'll have to compete that way. We'll have to score, you know, and, and you can see some signs of us kind of coming out and, and being a little bit better offensively, functioning a little bit better. And, and, you know, it's hard when you lose Mac Johnson, arguably you're, you know, one of your top two players. and and you don't have him, that's a pretty big chunk of offense for us to be missing. Uh, but I was really happy with how the guys kind of figured that out. And now when we can add him back in, you know, hopefully we can pick up where we left off. He shot the ball uh, um, after sitting out a couple of games. He's, he uh, shot the ball extremely well for you on Saturday and gave you 19 minutes. So, And he's back at practice, so uh, Max probably ready to go, right? Yeah, you know, he's been limited, but uh, we'll, he'll be by. I'm sure there's not much I could do to keep him off the floor right. on Friday or Saturday, uh, you know, as long as he doesn't re-aggravate his ankle. But, you know, he, he's a big part of our program, has been for four years, and so I was really excited to see him gut it out on Saturday. You know, a lot of people said, oh, he didn't even look like he was hurt. Like, he was hurting. And uh, for him to go out there for his teammates and give us 19 minutes off of a tough night, uh, the night before, I was really proud of him and really happy for him. A couple other guys real quickly. Clint Thomas, uh, he's approaching the all-time 10. He's approaching the top 10 all-time and made threes. He has 58 this year, 118 in his career. Um, and then you've got Drew Gieber, who's right behind him, actually. He's at about 113, and then Mac Johnson at 215. But those, la those two guys have really uh, provided good offense for you, right? Yeah, I, I think Clint doesn't – he's probably a little underappreciated by people because of Mac and Drew and, and the spotlight that they deservedly get. But Clint's been our most consistent player all year. I mean, he's – Every night you look up and he shoots 50% and he shoots about 50% from the three and he gives you 10 to 16 points and he just kind of does his thing. And I thought he's probably the guy that him and Daniel Hurt that stepped up when Mac was out those, you know, kind of three and a half games there. Um, you, you know, but I thought Clint was probably the best weekend he's had since he's been at USF this last weekend. I thought he was really good. And Drew Gebert played his best game and probably of the year just all around on Saturday against Concordia. I mean, he, he scored it inside, he scored it from the three, he got to the free throw line, he rebounded. Um, you know, he drew's a special player, and he's just scratching the surface still. I mean, he's a true sophomore. And so, uh, really happy with those guys. And, and like I said, I think Daniel Hurt deserves to be in that group too because he's really p elevated his level since Christmas. And, you know, when you've got those four or five guys, and then you've got some nice complimentary pieces, it gives you a chance every night. And that, that's really what you ask for as a coach. Well, thanks, Chris. Again, fans. 
on Friday night, the Cougars host Northern State. That game will be at 8 o'clock approximately, start after the women's game at 6. And then on Saturday afternoon, the women's game is at 4, followed by the men's teams battling here at the Stewart Center at 6 p.m. Thanks again, Chris. Thanks, Dan.